Welcome to today's F1 Talk race roundup of the Spanish Grand Prix. After yesterday's qualifying, Lewis Hamilton got a grid place penalty for not having enough fuel, so he got relegated to the back of the grid. So that meant Maldonado was on pole. The race started. Fernando Alonso, he overtook Man- Maldonado at the first corner. There's a few issues behind him into the second and third corner. Perez hit and went wide, he got a puncher. I think it was off Grosjean's car. Kimi Raikkonen moved up to third. On lap 12, Bruno Senna was in front of Michael Schumacher and Michael Schumacher ran, went into the back of the Williams or Bruno Senna while breaking for the first corner. Michael Schumacher and Senna was out of the race. During the race, the Red Bulls had an issue with the front nose. Weber came in to have it changed and so did Sebastian Vettel. On lap 27th, for the second pit stop, Alonso pitted in from the lead. Maldonado overtook him because he pitted early and he set faster lap times. So Maldonado was in the lead again. Sebastian Vettel and Massa got drive through penalties for not driving with caution through a yellow flag sector. From the back of the grid, Hamilton made quite a lot of sp- places. There was another pit stop issue when he his car bounced because he hit his rear tyre that they took off the car. It's quite disappointing to see a team that normally not used to, to making mistakes make so many mistakes during pit stops. It's costing them race wins and now maybe even drivers' championship and constructors. Lotus didn't pit Kimi Raikkonen early. He stayed out for longer. And Pastor Man- Maldonado had to overtake him because he was holding him back and the gap between Alonso was getting smaller. Then Alonso overtook Raikkonen. I think Lotus should have pitted Raikkonen earlier. I think they were worried of the tyre hitting the cliff. They wanted to keep him out longer. Once Kimi Raikkonen pitted, he was going at least a second faster than Alonso and Maldonado in front. I think if he, they pitted him earlier, he could have had a shot at being at least second. So the top 10 race results was Maldonado first, Alonso second, Kimi Raikkonen third, fourth was Grosjean. Kobashi was 5th, 6th was Vettel, 7th was Rosberg, 8th was Hamilton, 9th was Jensen Button, 10th was Hulkenberg. It was good to see Williams win a race. The last race they won was in 2004. Sir Frank Williams was celebrating his 70th birthday, so it was good to see a team that used to win being at the top again. It was also good to see Ferrari after testing. They have better race pace, not so much in qualifying but they're still getting results. The next race is in Monaco. That's a more technical track, and I I don't think tyre wear will be affecting the race so much. Thank you for watching. Please comment.